The one joke you can remember, everyone has one. <laughs> what is it? That's so bad at jokes. Um, what, can you... Okay, uh, oh, so bad, though. Um, the one about... Um, so, I was in a park, and um, I was looking at this frisbee, and I was thinking, why does a frisbee get bigger the closer it gets to me? Yeah. And then it hit me. <laughs> Hello everybody uh, and welcome to the Backseat Diaries with British GQ. My name is Theo van den Bruecke and I'm the style and grooming director of the magazine, which means I look after all the style and grooming and bits of watches, uh, but it's not about me. Anyway, um, we are here today um, at London Fashion Week Men's. It's a beautiful Sunday. Um, we're just en route to Kent and Kerwin and we're also taking the opportunity to use the wonderful backseat of this uh, Mercedes um, to interview some of the most exciting and interesting people out and about at the shows. My first guest I'm very excited to have uh, is one of the most um, burgeoning exciting people on the music scene right now um, he first released his EP in 2014 he was nominated for the Mercury Music Prize in 2017 for his first album Yesterday's Gone um, it's Mr. Loyal Karna um, so without further ado let's get Loyal in it's Mr. Loyal Karna All right, how are you doing? welcome to the back seat Loyal how are Thank you doing? Thank you for having me. Yeah, I'm very pl pl pleasure to have you here yeah, seat belts, obviously, safety first. Um, how's everything going? Yeah, not bad. Yeah? Not bad, beautiful day. It is a beautiful day, oh, thank the you. The seatbelt just tying on I me. I know, it's kind of creepy. High tech. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, you are here at LFWM on yes. a beautiful Sunday. Thank you for taking the time. No, not at all. Really appreciate it. Have you been to anything yet? No, I haven't actually. We're going to Ken and Cohen, I think, in a minute. To yes. See Bex. And you're co hosting uh, with the esteemed Dylan Jones yes, our I dinner am tomorrow night. Yeah, right? yeah, the big, the big dinner. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm ready for it, man. I've got a suit. What, what are you wearing? Um, wearing? Well, at the moment, it's a Paul Smith suit. I actually saw a photo of him in the suit because um, I wasn't what, sure of what to wear and I saw him in this right. suit. I went, that's the suit I want to get, so I got in touch with, in effect, him and said, I love your suit. Is it possible if I can get my hands on one? Exactly <laughs> can I like have that. it? Yeah, I just ripped it, I ripped it off his back. <laughs> he was cool with it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, so that at the moment, fingers crossed. What, what's it like? Is it, is it blue? I can't tell you. Okay, it's okay. Big it's, suit. It's, it's embargoed, people. Yeah. You have to yeah. look at the photos on gq.co.uk yeah, yeah. on yeah, Monday please morning. Please do, please do. <laughs> Tuesday morning, sorry. Uh, so, <laughs> the format of this interview is a kind of quick fire. Yep. Um, it's, you know, answer in as much detail as you like cool. or not. Yeah, cool. yeah. <laughs> um, so we're going to start things off firstly with your dream dinner party. Yeah. You can have three people, okay. alive or dead, who would you invite and why? Well, number one would be Rick Stein. Okay. Because I'm Rick Stein's biggest fan. And I don't know why, I think when I was younger I used to watch a lot of cooking programmes and right. his were the ones I used to... To, uh, to, to kind of find myself watching it the most. Uh, he's, I think his, his father passed away around the same time to when I did. Right. Um, yeah, he, he's got a house over here, house in Australia. I love Australia. I just, I just he's, he's just such a humble, lovely man. But you know, you can't invite him to come and cook. No, no, no. But I, I mean, I just, the thing, I, maybe I could get him to do maybe the starts or something. Yeah, exactly, like an hors d'oeuvre. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, um, who else? Second guest? Eric Cantona. Really? Um, yeah, okay, yeah. Eric Cantona, just because. Um, I've, I've, I've met him a few times, but he, he was my dad's hero. As right. much as Bex was like, you know, the the the, the second hero, yeah. And Eric Cantona was the number one. So I think, yeah, uh, I would love to talk to him more. Understand? I know he plays the trumpet. I used to play trumpet, so I'd like to talk to him about Does that. Does he play the trumpet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a cool guy, oh, man. Like Sonia from East Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a bit cooler than Sonia, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I'm joking. But kind of in the same ballpark. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I reckon he'd take that. You need to uh, yeah. follow official Sonia. Yeah, Sonia yeah. official on Instagram, by the way. It's brilliant. Yeah. Uh, number three. Do you know what? Malcolm X. So okay. yeah, Malcolm X, I watched them um, the other day, I, me and my missus watched um, Selma mm. at a BFI um, and I was reminded, so I, I, I was always, always a big fan of Malcolm X, I read his autobiography, I'm a big fan of his famous speech, The Ballot or The Bullet, mm. um, and watching Selma I was kind of reminded of, 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 of his brilliance, he only pops up very very briefly in it and he's, right. it's when he's come out of prison and he's reformed, but I just, yeah, I find him fantastic and fascinating and I feel like he had quite a similar upbringing to myself, Right. so not, not exactly obviously, but... Do you think those people will get on? I've, you know, I reckon Malcolm X and Rick Stein could be buddies. I yeah. reckon, don't you think uh, Cantona as well? He's yeah, got yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, every, but, every, but everybody, loves, everybody loves Cantona. Well, yeah. like, every time I see him, man, he blows me away because he just is petrifying, but also you want to be best friends with him. <laughs> yeah, it's so true. He's got that crazy, yeah, the crazy aura of wanting to give him a hug and also wanting to stand as far away. <laughs> exactly. as possible, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Brilliant. London, Paris, Milan or New York? Paris, Milan or New York. Do you know what? I have to say London, I reckon. Or yeah. Milan. 
because it's it's really hotter. only because only to be by the lakes and there's one of my favorite chefs the guy called massimo batura oh my god amazing yeah, man. and i've always yeah. wanted to go to his restaurant I actually i'm taking my my family away to um to italy uh, to lake como for a holiday this summer oh, amazing. and i revolved the whole thing revolves around going to this restaurant and i was ready to book because you have to you can only book at like 10 o'clock in the um in the morning um milan time right and when i went to book those two weeks are the two weeks we we're out there for are booked up um by like a private function oh, so right. i can't go so there's a whole holiday that's oh no effectively oh, useless man <laughs> i'm after this you should uh, use it as leverage yeah yeah, yeah. massive <laughs> yeah come on please i'm all over um so favorite restaurant that leads us very nicely on actually favorite yeah. restaurant in london maybe the Hawksmoor. um okay yeah yeah i like steak i don't really eat that much meat anymore though so i'd say there or do you know what, actually, Las Fuentes, the, like a little tapas bar in Croydon, down the road from where oh, okay. my mum's house is, yeah. yeah. That's a good spot. And people apparently travel from far and wide to get there. Do they? But we're sport, because it yeah, was on my doorstep when I was growing up. So, so you living there at the moment? Yeah, yeah, no, I was, I was, I've been there my whole life, but I, I moved yeah. out for a bit, and just about to get a new spot, actually, so I'm back in your mum's house for a bit with my missus, which is intense. <laughs> I can absolutely it's imagine. It's intense, it's intense, it's wicked. Yeah. It's wicked, and my, you know, my two, two most favourite women in the universe together is fantastic. Yeah. For them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can leave it at that. I'm yeah. sure your mum won't appreciate you saying that. <laughs> um, your favourite pub in London? Um, the Jolly Farmers in Croydon. Okay. Or um, um, the Lauriston, actually. Um, kind of, I think it's near London Fields. I used to go there a lot. It's really good pizza. Okay. Big projector to watch the football. Nice. Um, yeah. I can't, I can't deal with a projector in a pub. But, no, you know, that's sorry. Not, it's not sorry, about me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Um, well, I can ask you some questions. Where's your favourite no, no, pub? I'm joking. Uh, I think it's the Draper's Arms. Nice. Anyway, yeah. who is the greatest inspiration in your life? Uh, my mum. Okay. Uh, my mum and my dad, all together, kind of them to collectively, I think they probably ended up becoming one when they were together when I was at home. But yeah, my mum, uh, uh, you know, raised me on, on her own for a little bit. Then my father passed away. She raised me and my little brother together with, with kind of no one, no one else. Mm. Uh, yeah, she's a brilliant writer. She's clever. She listens to good music. She's well dressed. She's beautiful. She's funny. Oh, God, um, listen to this. It's yeah, amazing. She's got it all. She you're gonna, all. You're gonna have a lot of uh, a lot of women falling at your feet after this, Lord, so, I think. Um, if you don't already, I'm sure you I do. Definitely <laughs> don't, man, I definitely don't. I definitely don't. What do you do to unwind? Uh, what do I do to unwind? Do you know what? Cooking is something I do yeah. um, a lot. I've got a cooking school for kids with ADHD, which I run, which is fantastic. Really? Yeah. Um, it's, yeah wow. so it's for kids between the ages of 14 to 16. Um, and actually, we've got another set of courses, um, like classes coming up at the end of summer, end okay. of August, which I'm hoping to, to document properly to kind of raise a bit more awareness for it. But other than that, my missus actually got me a book recently called, um, it's like the, I can't, it's not, I can't remember the name of the title, but it's the idea of the Buddhist um, approach to cleaning. Right. And the reason that the Buddhists clean the temple every day is not to um, clean because it's so tidy, but mm. it's to clean their mind. And so I thought it was, uh, for want of a better word, bullshit. And so I've <laughs> read this book and it's fantastic. Um, and I've actually, it's, it's quite embarrassing really. I wake up in the morning and now I want to tidy my house Jeez. as opposed to wake up and want to yeah, get on with other things. So yeah, I wake up, tidy a specific room. If it's sunny, it's supposed to tidy outside. So I sweep up. Um, if it's not sunny, open the windows and tidy inside. Yeah, it's I'm, I'm kind of with you on that. Give it a go, man. Yeah, give it, yeah really give it a go. Like, like, the most recent thing you bought, obviously not like a prep, but yeah. you know, <laughs> of, of any kind um, of significance. I bought my missus some Vapor Max, uh, the ones that the, like the tropical sunset ones. Yes, um, the ones. And they were like the last pair, last pair in a size six. I looked on four websites. Right. Um, finally found them. Um, Are you into trainers too? I love trainers, man. Do you? I love trainers. How many pairs have you got? Well, I've, this, this is the issue. Is I've got, I think I have something stupid like 400 pairs of trainers now. 400? Yeah, yeah I, I haven't counted for a long time, but I don't <laughs> I don't ever think about it. But it, So when I was much younger, I couldn't really afford many trainers. Right. Um, every now and again, my mum would buy me a pair of trainers. And I was, I was obsessed with them. Mm. You know, I grew up on I grew up on hip hop, I grew up on, on, on rap and grime, and, kind of, and, I, and I know that it was such a heavy influence and that was what trainers you had and if they were fresh or not. Yeah. And so I used to have one pair of trainers that kind of were good at the time and then when they would get dirty I'd get another pair and so when I started getting given free trainers by brands and whatnot I kind of couldn't cope mm -hmm. and so I didn't go yeah I'll take maybe that one or I'll take maybe that nice pair I used to just take everything if I, if I, did, if I didn't like them <laughs> I know that feeling if they didn't fit me it didn't matter I'm going, going, to this, going to the back of the store and go everything I'm allowed to have I'm taking home <laughs> So I, it just overflows, and so at the moment I don't I don't really need to buy myself trainers. But also I don't, yeah I kind of I've tried I, I haven't bought myself trainers for ages. I don't really think about trainers much anymore. Right. So it's been nice actually to be able to buy my missus some because it's kind of reinstalled my 
and my interest and my excitement on trainers. Have you kind of graduated into other things that you obsess about? Yeah, yeah man, F football shirts. Really? Vintage football shirts, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to wear one today, but I was so embarrassed to no, wear one. No, you should shirt. have done. No, because I was, like, anywhere else I was going, I would have worn one. But because I was going to see David Beckham, I, was, I just felt like it was a bit too much <laughs> to go, hey, actually, mate. I'd love yeah, if you awful. turned up wearing yeah, number seven. Go, yeah, 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 I would have done. <laughs> got, got some cameras down my head, blood. <laughs> and like a, like a sarong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, uh, your favourite place to go on holiday? Favourite place to go on holiday? Um, Sorry about the sign. No, no worries. It's not for me, I don't think. Um, Oh, very place to go on holiday. Probably Italy, because yeah. I love the food. Um, Croatia also, actually. Um, okay. It's kind of like a hidden gem, um, in my opinion. I've, I think that the beaches are beautiful, mm. um, the people are friendly, the food is wicked. Because kind of on the Mediterranean, it's like the, what's yeah. The, yeah, the Dalmatian coast. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's beautiful, man. And weather's wicked. I've played some good festivals out there as well. They seem to like. What's the what's that big festival where? Uh, Outlook, cool. oh, yeah, um, Outlook, Soundwave. Yeah. There's another one I can't remember, which I haven't played, so it doesn't okay. matter to me. Okay, that's a good answer. <laughs> um, your greatest extravagance in life? Greatest extravagance in life? Ice cubes, man. I buy so many ice, ice cubes. Yeah, ice cubes. <laughs> I feel like I feel like it's quite a lavish thing to, <laughs> to at your house. <laughs> To draw really? for ice cubes all the time, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that kind of shows the sort of life I'm living, man. I love that. Yeah. Ice cubes. Ice cubes. Okay, you heard it here first. Yeah. Biggest extravagant in life. Lavish. The best piece of life advice you've ever been given. Nothing good ever happens after 2 a.m. Which I can stretch to maybe 3 a.m., but yeah, that's kind of that's how I live. Can you see for me it's about 11 p.m.? Yeah, 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 yeah. we'll talk, we'll talk. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sometimes, yeah, a good thing hasn't happened to me after 12. 12 like in the morning. Well, also, people never know that you're there. Or no. Not. no, 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 no. You By that gotta, point, everyone's yeah, just slip out. That's that's a good. Slip that's out, yeah. Who gave you that advice? And my mum. <laughs> okay, okay, very good. Your mum sounds like a wise woman. Yeah, she's cool. Um, best piece of style advice you've ever been given? Probably from my granddad. My granddad used to. My granddad, my granddad was the best dressed man I knew. But he just used to say to me, you know, don't spend too much on it. Make sure it will last till next year. So okay. that's, that was kind of yeah. Got a, lot, a lot of sage people in your yeah, life. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's a good man. Um, the one item in your wardrobe you'd save in a fire. My dad's, my dad's Cantona shirt. And okay. I'm a Liverpool fan, so it's actually ridiculous that I would say that. But um, he, he bought this um, garish, like it's like a fake, fake shirt. Mm. It was outside, out the, out, outside um, Old Trafford years ago, um, and it's got Eric Cantona in a in a football shirt that looks like a Man United shirt, but without the badge. Right. And then loads of like fans or like a crowd around his belly, <laughs> and then the same on the back, and then it just says Cantona Seven. But he used to wear it everywhere we went on holiday. And actually, when I um. When oh. I Gone, sorry. No, when I started playing um, playing live shows, so we played a ridiculous amount of shows now, um, and every single show I've played, um, I have his shirt around my shoulders without fail. Yeah. So yeah, any photo you see of me playing any show, you should see his Cantona shirt. Amazing, that's an actual proper answer to that yeah. question. Yeah, yeah, true answer, there you go. Brilliant. Finally a good one. <laughs> no, yeah, it was ice, coming. Ice Cube is definitely the best so far. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, the, one, I mean, the one pair of shoes you'd save in a fire. <laughs> Probably the ones you're wearing when you, Man, when you leave yeah, the building. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wouldn't be able to think about it. Probably the probably ones I'm wearing. I'll tell you what, um, when I was younger, I had a pair of um, Nike Air Force Ones with like camo on them. Mm. And it was the first pair of trainers that I'd got where I'd begged my mum because they were expensive. Mm. And, I, and I'd kind of, it wasn't ones that you could get on offer in Foot Locker or whatever. They were like a pair of trainers I had to get online from Nike the day they came out. Um, and I'd have been like 10 years old. Um, and I've still got them. Uh, yes, yeah, so I know. Okay. They don't fit me anymore, but maybe for my son, who knows? Yeah, my daughter. Um, okay, this is a bit of a morbid one. Um, the outfit you'd be buried in? Kilt. <laughs> People are buried in a kilt. I, I would say I like, didn't yeah. write these questions, yeah, but yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, a kilt. A kilt. I reckon, a kilt. I, yeah, I reckon um, I've always wanted to have like a Viking funeral, you know, where you get wrapped up in. Um, Wrapped up like kind of mummified, almost covered in petrol, and pushed out to sea, and then you get shot with a flaming arrow, and you burn, and then you sink to the bottom next to Davy Jones. <laughs> you heard it here first. Wow. Yeah, that. Hold on, but where, where's the kilt playing to that? Oh, because my granddad was Scottish. Oh, okay. And I reckon so it probably, reckon it'd probably go up where the yeah. flames. I mean, it'd be, <laughs> yeah, exactly. be miraculous, yeah, like a peacock. <laughs> you wouldn't want it to fly up no, to no, no. sea. <laughs> yeah, you really would. Quite an undignified burial. Yeah, it'd be awful. Just that. Just <laughs> yeah, <it'd> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, the best barber in London, in best, your opinion. Do you know what? I wish you, you tell me. I need one. Look at me. Okay, okay. Carmelo Guastella. I'll put you in touch. Carmelo Guastella. If, if, if he's around today, that'd be fantastic. Do you know what? He probably is. If he is around, please. We'll talk afterwards. Yeah, yeah please. Um, Carmelo. Cardi B or Dua Lipa? <laughs> Cardi B. Okay. Why? Or should uh, we not go there? Uh, don't go there, but okay. yeah, but yeah, Cardi, Cardi B. B. Yeah. Um, favorite fashion designer? Favorite fashion designer. You know what? My um, you won't know of him at all. But my, one of my closest friends um, is a guy called Mikey, and he runs an initiative called Goma, okay. which is a um, like a social enterprise where he kind of helps facilitate other people's uh, community projects. And right. He's the one I run the cooking school with, but he started off as a um, 
Okay, you started making like skateboards and skate t-shirts, and they're the coolest t-shirts I've owned. Amazing. And they're all um, organic cotton, recycled, d d kind of, yeah. He's going to love you for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah fingers crossed. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be on the payroll. <laughs> um, Mariah Carey or Whitney Houston? Whitney Houston. Okay, good, Houston. good answer. But Mariah is a good singer, you know, but, she just, is. Yeah, but Whitney, have you, seen, have you seen Whitney? Oh, no, the no. new thing. It's meant to be amazing. Really? Yeah. Um, Favourite album of all time, apart from your own? Um, Not that I would think you would say that. But. Uh, my next one. No, 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 <laughs> um, favorite album of all time, maybe B by Common. Um, okay. Common, one of my favorite rappers, I think. Or Late Registration by Kanye West. Of uh, what's the album by Bob Dylan that's got Don't Think Twice? It's all right on it. That also I love. I'm not sure. um, but yeah, I, yeah, I'd say Com B by Common. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Um, okay. The one joke you can remember. Everyone has one. <laughs> what is it? That's <laughs> so bad at jokes. Um, well, can you? Like, uh, oh, so bad though. Um, the one about um, so I was in the park and um, I was looking at this frisbee and I was thinking, why does the frisbee get bigger the closer it gets to me? Yeah. And then it hit me. <laughs> That's so bad. Thank you for laughing. Mine, mine is worse. Come on, please. What do you call a helicopter that wobbles? What jellycopter. <laughs> <laughs> I like that's to make right. up cheese jokes that's too. Right. Oh, it's terrible. The cheese jokes are good. What, cheese what, jokes are good. What did the cheese, what did the, um, cheese say when it saw its reflection? Hello uh, me. Uh, hello <laughs> me, that's it. I, 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 I tried to make one up the other day. It was, um, what did Queen, <laughs> what did Queen Victoria say to the cheese that ran away that looked like her husband? Uh, wordy. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 come, come on bear. <laughs> come on bear. <laughs> Oh my god, moving on. Um, favourite <laughs> building in London and why? Favourite building in London? Um, um, maybe maybe the National Theatre on the South Bank. Oh, or kind okay. of maybe like the skate park at the South Bank. Kind of all of that area, mm. the South Bank Centre, just because of, I think it's industrial, I think it's beautiful. Yeah. And like, it reminds me of home. A lot of my friends live on live in Waterloo and so I spent a lot of time there growing up. Oh. Also, weirdly, um, like City, Citibank, the the one you can see at Canary Wharf, um, just because I used to be able to see it from my um, my bedroom window. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, yeah, is, that, yeah. is that the one next to the? Um... Yeah, the one next to the one that, that flashes. Yes. Yeah, just okay. just because it, you know I lived when I grew up out. I was way in the sticks, kind of deepest part of Croydon in Purley, mm. and so for me, looking out at the city was kind of yeah, it was almost like a shame. Do you know what I mean? I felt like I was on the outside looking in. Right. Um, and so yeah, it was, it was like that was what London to me looked like before I went and spent loads of time in the centre of it. Sounds like an album cover to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Me on top of it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, trait or feature you most like about yourself? It's a hard question. Yeah, it is. Well, Sorry, it's, well, a mean, it's, a, it's on, kind man. of a mean one. Yeah, it is an evil we could question. do the dislike one. If uh, you want. But dislike got loads. Um, <laughs> no, like, I, I used to hate my freckles. Now I like my freckles. Okay, uh, yeah. that's good. I got bullied for them when I was at school, and then now I don't get bullied for them. So. I've it's funny, the things that you're bullied for often turn yeah, out to yeah, be yeah, the best the cool things ones, about yeah. you, don't they? Yeah, some of them. Some yeah, of them, yeah, some, some of them, yeah. yeah. No, not a few. Yeah. <laughs> not not like smell. propensity yeah, for yeah, Baruchas yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely not that. And the dislike? Dislike. Loads, none of your business. Okay, <laughs> okay. fair enough. Um, well, I didn't, yeah, no, no. Okay. Uh, right now, my, my, my bad haircut, but you know, it's, it varies day to day. But that's going to change, isn't it, with Carmelo Costello? Yeah, it's amazing. It's a silly and barber, he's brilliant. Um, pet style peeve, things you see that um, annoy you. People who wear football shirts who can't play football. Okay. And that's everybody these days, so okay. yeah, so almost everyone. And you can play football well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I should have been pro. No, no, I'm not, <laughs> no, 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 no I, I loved football when I was younger. I was, I used to play for uh, Charlton Academy when I was really young, but this is, this is nonsense, do you know what I mean? I, I wasn't fit enough. Right. I liked, I liked to drink beer, and right, therefore okay. couldn't play football as well as do that, you know, <laughs> yeah. so I tried to find a career where I could drink beer and also Okay. Make some money at the same time, so. Well, okay, so you've found a good middle That's ground. That's where rap fell into it, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Palace or Supreme? Palace or Supreme. Neither, man. Okay, I, I no, that's, that's um, good. I'm, glad, I'm kind of glad you said that. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'd like, I, I, when I was younger, I couldn't afford it, so. Right. There wasn't nothing I could, yeah. Probably still couldn't afford it now. I've got a mortgage to pay, do you know what I mean? Uh, tell me about it. Um, massage or facial? Uh, massage or facial. Massage. Okay. Best tailor in London? Like proper suits I've worn, I think I've worn three. One for my prom, one for Mercury's, one hopefully tomorrow night. So I would say the best tailor I know is actually a guy who goes by the name of, he calls himself the Afghan man. Right. And he's in Pearly. And he um, he's my mum's sworn hero. So she, like, kind of anything that, that she needs to like, sort it out, he'll sort it out. He's made some trousers that were too tight, baggier for me. Mm. So that if he can do that for me, that's working wonders. How the hell do you do that? 
tragic. Wow. And there wasn't even there wasn't even any more fabric. I brought, no, but there wasn't. I brought them to him and I was like, yeah, I don't know what to do with these men. Um, they're too tight. Wow. And he went, leave it with me. Really? Think like weave and yeah, 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 amazing. Yeah, yeah. He's created his own. Okay, Afghan man. That's good. Afghan to know. man is the man. The one musical artist, living or dead, that you would most like to collaborate with. Jay Diller. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Jay Diller, man. Yeah, and why, why is that? Um, just because he was a genius, a hero. Like worked with so many of my heroes. I mean, he was so close with Common, who obviously I was saying is maybe my favourite album of all time. Uh, I don't know. He was genuine. Was a wicked rapper. Also a fantastic producer, and and knew a load. Like I kind of had an eclectic taste in music. So it wasn't just you know kind of sampling. You know, your soul records or your jazz records, but was sampling any, anything and any and anything. You know. Right. Okay. Finally, what I'm asking all of my guests in the back seat, or on the back seat, I should say, uh, to do, is to play a little game of Snog, Marry, Avoid at the end. <laughs> so, your category, Loyal, as decided by my very cruel GQ online team, yeah, yeah, nice. is uh, 2017 Mercury nominees. Wicked. <laughs> so, Snog, Marry, Avoid, yeah. Ed Sheeran, Stormzy, and Sampha. Wow. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Um, it's not, no, you don't have to do it if you don't I really, want to. I really don't want to do it. Okay, really, don't, but, don't, but, but, let's but, not do it. Let's uh, not do it. Let's no, not do it. Let's not do it. Um, loyal, you've been a star. I marry them all. You marry them all. There you go. That's the answer. Um, thank you. Cheers, man. <laughs>